Hey mom, it's Judd. I uh, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from the Wild Rover here in Charleston. Sorry we can't be there with you, but we wanted to uh, put together this video and uh, share some clips and pictures um, of folks from around the world and all the people um, that love you and just so everyone can, can wish you a happy birthday and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So. Happy birthday, mom! <laughs> <Grandpa>. <laughs> Eliza. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ree. I hope you and Sandy can come visit soon. We'll go out on the boat. Happy birthday, Ree. Hope you have a fantastic day. Wish we could be there with you. Bye. Happy birthday. Aunt Ree, happy birthday! For as long as I remember, you have been just one of the kindest people and I've always looked up to you and the way you can light up a room and just make people feel better about themselves just by being in your presence. I hope you're having a wonderful day surrounded by family and grandbabies and everybody that you love. We're thinking of you. Have a wonderful day. Happy birthday! Hi Ree. Um, it's June from sunny Colorado. I'm just calling to say, no, I'm not calling. I'm sending this video to say, happy birthday. I hope it's wonderful. Um, I miss you. I miss the beach, um, but the mountains are fun. Um, I love seeing all the pictures of you on Facebook and all your sweet grandchildren. Um, but most of all, I wanna say hi to Sandy and happy birthday to you. Love you. Mwah. All right, Mom, me and the kids for your birthday thought we would read you a little poem. It's something that you've always been so good about doing. And we figured we'd give it a try. Cece? Okay. On the day you were born, so the story goes, your dad bought a house on Circle Road. It was big and grim with a court and a pool, and it wasn't too far from the Calvert School. Oh. You were spoiled from the start. The adorable read. Your parents were great, Chloe and Ernie. You were loved, you were loved, and you loved all the people around you, but you didn't quite love camp. It made you quite blue. What fun it was to roam around town with friends Kathy and Hilly, who were never town. How we love all the stories from your childhood. Your mom and your dad, they made it quite good. You went to Garrison to make some new friends. They are buddies for life and will be with you till the end. You lived with a skunk and you had lots of fun. Then on to Penn once you were done. 
Philadelphia is where you found your new home, you went to a party with a guy named Jolly that didn't last long and was really a folly. At last you met Sandy and things quickly changed. Beach Haven and Flower Town became home on the ranch. On a hot summer day in Lake July, you became Sandy's wife and started your new life. After five blissful years and few jobs and new homes, a new baby girl arrived on the scene. Her head of red hair was quite a shock, and life now became much less serene. As a family of three, we traveled around to Bermuda and Disney and the Jersey Shore. And then what a thrill, what a lovely sound, two more babies crying. Who could ask for more? With your family complete, you continued to amaze. You went back to nursing school and got straight A's. You birthed out your baby and babies and were an amazing mom. The list of awesome things that you did goes on and on. Your good work continues at the Grammys a six, a six to six. You're, you're a nurse to the court. We're so lucky to have you. You play beer pong and high knee quarters, and you always knew just what to say when we needed a quick fix. On the day you were born, so the story goes, the sun started shining and it never stopped. In your first seven decades, you've accomplished so much. We all love you more than you will ever know. Happy birth, <laughs> happy birthday. We love you and can't wait to celebrate with ice cream and wine and sand and cake. Cheers to, your, to you, our sweet mom, Bree and Grin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, someone hit end. Hi, Aunt Ree. Happy Hi, birthday. Happy birthday. We're coming at you from Strathmere, New Jersey, where I am performing. Will is an audience member. Anyway, um, we wanted to wish you happy birthday. And a uh, funny story, I was telling Will about a terrible waitress I had the other night at a restaurant. And uh, Will, we'll continue from here. And I said, well, you need to watch the absent-minded waiter because Ree showed me that. I think she saw it when she saw Steve Martin live. Um, and it's really funny. We're going to watch it tonight in honor of you, Ree. So happy birthday. Love you. Love you. Bye. Here's to Ree. Here's to Ree. Happy 70th, Ree. We miss you. Happy 70th, Ree. From all your Winmore buddies, uh, hopefully Sandy does something nice and takes you to a uh, fancy dinner, gives you a nice foot rub, and... Uh, you know, hopefully you have a great day. We miss you and love oh, you a lot. And by the way, Teddy's standing on a box. Yeah, He's not really box. taller than I am. Cheers. <laughs> Ree, happy birthday, young lady. I can't tell if this thing is working, but I'm going to look forward to seeing you this fall. And in the meantime, have a great time. Happy birthday, Ree! We love you! Miss you! Miss you! We'll see you soon! Bye! Bye. Hi, Ree! It's Winslow and Bailey. We are sitting outside. Oh, Bailey, uh -uh, stay. Sit. Just say hi to Ree. There she is. We're sitting outside. About to wish you a happy, happy birthday. I'm so sorry we can't be there on your special day. But we are right here. It's dinner time for Bailey. So she thinks if she does it really well, she'll be able to have dinner. So there she is. She's saying hello. Gibbs is down in Florida at a lacrosse camp having a horrible time, apparently. Lee is um, sick. We're trying to figure out what her gig is. So she uh, couldn't be with us today. And Dixon just had a shingle shot yesterday. So he's under the weather, too. So you get the two of us sitting here on our beautiful back patio and it's a gorgeous day and we miss you and we love you and we can't wait to see you and i hope you have a very very special birthday and a happy one too love you lots mwah, mwah. billy says mwah, mwah. see you soon
Happy birthday, Ray. Happy birthday, Ray. Recognize the music? Ray, without you, Diane and I would not have had our wonderful 46 years, or as she might describe it, the wonderful 44 years. So thank you so much. Oh, you're getting emotional <laughs> about it. Well, I'm very glad, Ray, that you did introduce us, even though I didn't want to meet that brother-in-law of yours. It worked out pretty well. Thank you so much for setting us up on the blind date. <laughs> and because of you, we had our children. There we go. Look what we did. Hi, Ray. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for these girls. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Okay, here we go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Look at Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ree. Happy birthday to you. Happy 70th birthday, Ree. Happy birthday, Ree. Now I have. I had one little thing I wanted to talk to Ree about. It sort of bothered me all these years. When John and I were married. I asked Ree, who had been married three years by then, what did she call her mother-in-law and her father-in-law? And to my consternation, she said, I don't call them anything. <laughs> I said, well, what do you do when you need to talk to them? I just say, pass the salt, you know, have a drink of water. So I was led then to have to ask my mother-in-law, what shall I call you? And forevermore, we were saddled with Mama Sam. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ree. <laughs> Okay, take 83. Hey, Ree. Hi, Ree. Well, wow, such a nice day in the neighborhood. Thought we'd give you a shout out for your birthday. You definitely get the award for patience for dealing with your significant other for so long, especially that significant other, if you know what I mean. Ree, I tracked down Bobby Clark in Ocean City for a cameo, but he was booked. So I guess you'll have to wait until your next milestone. So anyway, Ree, Happy birthday. Hope you have many, many more. Keep them coming. And if you're like the rest of the drinkers, you're going to celebrate your birthday week all week. So have fun and we'll see you soon. We love you. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Hi, Aunt Ree. Happy birthday. Good luck.
Sorry I couldn't get you the real Paul McCarthy. McCartney. That's the best we could do. Happy birthday, Mom! <laughs> Happy birthday! Life goes on! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, V. Happy birthday to you. Hey, I love you so much. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Open your mouth. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dearie, happy birthday to you, and many more. Happy birthday, Ree. Hope you enjoy big time. Happy, happy day. Lots of love. Me too. Summarize our reunion weekend. John! Otto, I have a red Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> this is so obnoxious. You are so obnoxious. Ma is the. 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 Wait, no, no. I don't want. I don't want the summary of our weekend to be John saying. Oh, I'm a rich. <laughs> Hey, Ree, it's Goon. And Otter. And we are so excited to wish you a happy, happy 70th birthday. Oh, my goodness. Remember when we used to think that was old? Well, now it's considered young. Enjoy. And, Ree, uh, I just hope that the um, Red Johnson portion of the greeting doesn't offend anyone, um, but it's just too good to leave out. It cracks me up every single time so wonderful wonderful happy birthday wishes to you big hugs re we love you bye-bye bye bye hi re it's your nephew alex i'd like to address a few issues of abuse over the years that have culminated in luckily me being unscathed to sit here and wish you a happy 70th birthday first I received a text from you recently that said, just want you to know that in a million years, I never had any intention to kill you that night when you were a little tight. So I was thinking back, I don't remember that one in particular, but I do recall it was because I was waking Judd and Grace up again and again and again, and I think you'd had enough. Well, I also seem to remember when I may or may not have flipped a switchblade comb into Judd's eyes, I think you spanked me. And then I may or may not have dumped some bug spray at his eyes as well. And I think you spanked me again. And then I may or may not have flipped Grace in the hammock when we were down at Beach Haven, which I then think at least I got cornered and yelled at, if not spanked as well, if my memory is correct. So what I'd like to say is I'm happy to be here relatively unscathed to wish you a happy 70th birthday. And I also am so incredibly grateful that you've been such a wonderful aunt to me over these years and i love you so very very much and can't wait to celebrate this momentous occasion love you happy birthday brie happy 70 years young what a great memories i've had of you of us at curlew college in beach haven 
I go by the cottage and I have remind, I'm reminded by all the wonderful times I've spent with you and Sandy. And I, it's every summer, that summer of 73, you saved me. I will never forget when you and Kathy Brune were walking down the beach and you two spotted me sunbathing. I heard this wonderful voice yell, it's Hammer. I looked up and there you two were from the moment our friend, and from that moment, our friendship grew and the fun began. There are so many adventures and fun times. I can't even list them all. I don't even know if I can remember them all. There's so many. It all started at the seashell pool, or I should say the destruction of the seashell pool to swimming at night at Jaws Beach. Um, of course, that's before we knew about Jaws, <laughs> but I don't know if that would have stopped us. Anyway, time has gone by and even though we don't see each other, I think of you and Sandy often and our wonderful times together at Curlew Cottage. I go by there every time I'm at the shore and you have been a wonderful friend. The memories, <laughs> and I'll bring tears. Here, Judd wanted tears from you. Well, he's getting it from me. The memories and adventures we have shared will always, always be a big part of my life. Happy birthday, and I love you both, Sandy and your kids. You've been a big part of my life, so thank you. Love you. Happy birthday. Have a great day. Mm, this is the best morning I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Um, I know how much you love speaking in superlatives, so I figured that I would share a small list of superlatives about you on your special day. So, number one, you make the best creme brulee out of anyone in the world, and we all know it's your, because of your secret ingredient, brown sugar, that goes on top. Number two, you have the most beautiful feet in all the lands, according to Ned Beatty, RIP. Um, number three, you are probably the person who is most likely to like, truly have a connection if she were to meet Paul McCartney, so we got to be careful about that one. Um, number four, you are my favorite person to take care of me when I am feeling sick. Number three, uh, number five, I'm not doing a very good job, job of talking. Number five, you are the person that I want to call whenever, the first person I want to call whenever something good happens in my life. Number six, you're the first person I want to call whenever something bad happens in my life. And I always want to tell you because you're one of my best friends. Um, number seven, you are uh, my favorite person to have by my side when I am in labor. I think that I speak for a lot of people when I say that. Uh, you are a fantastic midwife and nurse um, when, you're, when you're doing that. Number eight, you are uh, far and away the um, best example that I can think of for um, looking up to as a mother and a wife and a sister and an aunt. And because of all these superlatives about you, I get my own superlative in that I am the luckiest person because I get to call you my mom. So happy birthday. I love you. Go ahead, buddy. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dearie. Happy birthday to you. Go ahead, Grayson. What do you want to tell Bree? What do you want to tell her? Oh, now all of a sudden he's shy. We wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. It's a big deal, 70, um, but you're probably like 21 year old. <laughs> we love you so very much. Couldn't have asked for better neighbors. You've truly become our second mamas and we know we can go to you for 
for anything and we just love love you so much we love that we have you next door and grayson loves coming over to play right buddy yeah and what do you love doing when you go over to Reese's house playing blocks playing blocks so we're gonna sing a little tune on three ready one two three Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear we. Happy birthday to you. Have a great 70th birthday celebration. Yay! Bye! Uh, how are you? Uh, it's Fred. Um, herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Geburtstag, which of course means Happy birthday to you. Um, I wish you all the best. Um, happiness, health, luck, of course, a lot of presents. Um, I hope uh, all your dreams come true today and you will get the chance to celebrate your birthday with your whole family and friends. Um, I wish I could be there. Um, so I hope we will see us soon again. Uh, enjoy your day and of course, happy birthday. Oh, Ree, happy birthday to you. Finally, you've caught up to the rest of us. I hope you have the best day. We go back so, so many years, Calvert, Garrison. God, remember Mrs. Sissel made those awful gloves for you to wear so you wouldn't suck your thumb. And I loved coming to your house all the time on Circle Road. It was so much fun. I think you had parakeets flying around your living room or something. It was a little bit better than it was going to the garlics and having that stupid monkey flying around all over the place. We have the most amazing class at Garrison, such good friends, such lifelong, wonderful pals, and it's so nice to get together and see each other and have reunions and go on trips together. I hope we see each other soon. And then you got married like two years after I did. You and Sandy are closing in on 50, and it's been some wonderful, wonderful years for you, I'm sure. You've got lovely children, beautiful grandchildren. You must be the best, best grandmother. I hope you have the happiest day. Lots and lots of love to you, darling. Bye-bye. Hi, Ray. Happy birthday. Who'd have thought? 70 years ago, I was 16 years old, and I remember the day Mom brought you home from the hospital. Congratulations. Ray. Now, here's, here's Sarah to talk. Ray, wishing you a most happy day, a wonderful birthday, and many, many more. And we really hope to see you soon. Love you, love you, Sarah. Talk to you later. <laughs> hey, we, it's Krista from North Palm Beach, um, wishing you a happy birthday, early birthday, and thinking of you. Wish I could be there personally, but I am there in spirit, and um, I can't wait to hear about how much you enjoy your video and what a great way for Judd to celebrate your birthday. And I hope you've got great meals planned, lots of lobster, some good food, good family time. Wish I could be there, but thinking of you and sending happy birthday greetings. Love you, miss you, bye-bye. Hi, Ray. Hi. Hello. Hi. We, um, oh, the dog's going to look for you. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We miss you. We wish we could be there. Um, but we're gonna head up there sometime this summer and wish you a happy birthday in person. It might be a little late or maybe extremely early. <laughs> <laughs> early for next year. All right, the dog is fighting. Jack has a little um, song to play for you. All right, you you might you might know this one. Hey Z. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hi, Ree. Happy, Happy birthday! We love you. We you miss been, you. You've been a wonderful <laughs> friend. We hope you're enjoying your special day with your lovely family. We hope to see you up here soon. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Ree. We love you. Then go. Hi, Ree. 
Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday tomorrow. I am, let's see, about six weeks older than you, and I know tomorrow is your big day to catch up with me. So anyway, um, first of all, I just wanted to thank you for being the best roommate anybody could have at GFS. You saved me. And uh, reminiscing for a minute about my funniest memory with you, which was when we were in Boston trying to paint that armoire when we were very stoned and we got white paint and turpentine all over us and we thought we were burning up. And I think Sandy came to rescue us. Um, we didn't call 911, I do remember that. So um, anyway, lots more memories, being groupies together, uh, Beach Haven, visiting you at Penn, um, Luigi Mastriani. And anyway, um, I just hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and uh, send lots of love and uh, hope we can see each other soon. Bye-bye. Darlene, Darlene, please don't take it because you can't. I'm, I'm going to buckle yourself. Can you say happy birthday to Grammy? Turn around and say happy birthday and give her a kiss. Oh. We... I'm still going to go with you. Okay. Dolly, I mean, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Grammy. Happy birthday to Grammy.